Hey guys, it's Mind Games. Welcome back to the PvE. Today I'm playing Pantheon in the top lane. Patch 10.25 is coming out in a little bit, and one of the big changes that's coming to champions is Pantheon. Uh, Riot is trying to shift his power level from the bot lane to the top lane uh, by reducing his utility and buffing his DPS, kind of. Let's go over some of the changes. First things first, his base movement speed is going down by 10 flat. So it's gonna kind of mess with his roaming uh, potential uh, as a support and as a jungler, I guess. Um, for his Q, uh, the mana went down by 10. So uh, you're not gonna have as much mana problems if you are spamming it in the top lane. So you could actually consider going Dorn's Ring or Dorn's Shield instead of Corrupting Pot, which you and you uh, regularly would. Uh, also, tapping with the Q now refunds even more cooldowns, so so it's going to refund 60% of your Spears cooldown. You can keep using it, it's pretty damn uh, good. Uh, and also, his Q will no longer slow when it's empowered, so you can't just max range someone with a Spear and catch up to them, that no longer works. For his W, uh, if you look at the damage over ranks, it's going to go up by a lot before it was 140 damage at max rank now it's 220 damage at max rank so this is going to help him when he gets to like level 13 it's going to help with his burst because as you know right now pantheon once he reaches like level 9 his power level just goes way down so this is going to help him to keep himself back in the game for his e it no longer blocks tower shots so as you see right here i'm still taking damage from the tower he can no longer have that insane dive potential, uh, but they did buff it uh, in a couple ways. Let me just put on cooldowns. Uh, moving backwards is going to be a lot easier. Before you only move at 25% uh, speed, and now you move at 50% speed. So as you can see, if I'm moving backwards, I'm a lot faster than I usually would be. Uh, one thing also, your empowered E no longer has ex duration extended. Instead, it gives you a little bit of movement speed at the end. So as you see right here, no super long uh, duration, but I get a bit of movement speed at the end. This will help you catch up to people if you really need it. And my ultimate, finally, it now throws a spear before I land in a very, very small circle. It's almost impossible to land, but if you do land it, it's going to slow everyone. So as you see right here, if I land it between these three people, Spear's gonna land, it's gonna do a bit of damage, and it's gonna slow them too. So, that's all the changes. I got some gameplay for you guys. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. But before that, guys, if you guys aren't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. It means so much to me. It's free, you can unsubscribe at any time. Thanks, and let's get to the good stuff. I'm gonna teleport back. Oh shit, she actually kills me there, okay. I did not expect to die there. Alright, I guess this will, keep, uh, this will keep things interesting. Yeah, Riven DPS is so high with her Qs. Kinda underestimated that. Wait, what? We have a Lux jungle? <laughs> but I actually got her. Oh, should just use W. Okay. Oh, come 
on, you just had to. Nice. Oh shit. My damage is coming from. Holy shit! I don't think I'm supposed to be this strong, dude. Dude, my damage is crazy! I think Tantan's gonna be super viable. Holy crap, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get me out. It's not gonna save you. What? Where is she going? On a journey, that's where. Oh my god. That is nutty. They don't need me at all. Okay, ribbon. I think too early. Oh, 